My name is Phil Newman. I'm the Senior Marine Conservation Officer here at the SCOMA Marine Conservation Zone. The SCOMA Marine Conservation Zone shouldn't be confused with SCOMA Island National Nature Reserve because the Marine Conservation Zone includes all the wet bits around the island and the nearby Marlowe's Peninsula from high water down to the seabed. Our job is to manage the site and to monitor its marine wildlife and climate. It's important for us to understand how healthy the marine environment is, so we know if we need to take action to protect the diverse and sometimes rare plants and animals that make their home there. Our work also feeds into the monitoring of the Pembrokeshire Marine Special Area of Conservation that surrounds us. As part of managing this site, we try to encourage people to use it sympathetically by providing places they can anchor or moor without damaging sensitive marine habitats and species. By asking them to keep out of especially sensitive areas for seals and seabirds and to take only photos home with them. As much of our wildlife is underwater, our team are all professional divers as well as marine biologists and we have a comprehensive monitoring programme looking at a range of habitats and species from the shore communities all around the marine conservation zone to the animals, plants and seaweeds living on or even in the seabed. This work can be challenging as there are very strong tidal currents around the island and the seas can be very rough, catching the full force of Atlantic storms. As a result, the water can be quite murky, making our monitoring sites difficult to even find. Combine that with the limited time we can spend on the seabed, it's always embarrassing to run out of air, it makes for a tricky job. But we do it because it's the best way to protect and monitor our little patch of marine heaven.